want to know what is trending, where the biggest parties are, or who rocked it best, and how it unfolded? Sit back and catch your number one TV show where we bring you the glitz and glamour of Kigali's social life and nightlife where we cover food. Fashion Events Theme parties and all your celebrities all in one go all here on k250 every wednesday 7 pm to 8 pm on rtv we the girl axel don't miss out Welcome here to another exciting episode of K250, your number one TV show. And I'm your girl, Axel. Tonight, we have a lot, a lot, a lot for you in store. As so much happened that, of course, you missed some of these things you didn't even get to know about them, or some of them you didn't even have access to them, or even some of them you actually stayed back home knowing K250 is going to be right there for you. And that is what we did. Of course, we are bringing you all the joys right here. Sit back and enjoy the show. like to travel and if you do not like it you're missing a lot a lot and a lot in life and if you have of course destinations like hotels like uh, lodges you're supposed to be winning awards you're supposed to be having good service that make you win some of these awards we attend the 24th annual world travel awards that happened right here in kigali the first time we are hosting them because they happen every year they started in 1993 and then finally rwanda as one of the best destinations we happened to host them and guess what happened of course there was a lot a lot a lot that happened so many people won awards but what was most interesting is even randa itself even hotels right here in randa won so many awards we were so happy we were over the moon we won so many awards as you're going to see of course some of you missed this but we are right there for you as your number one tv show k250 keep it locked We are here at the Kigali Convention Center where we are celebrating the 24th Annual World Travel Awards. Of course, as you've had, they're happening for the 24th times and they started in 1993. And of course, we are celebrating. We are going to see who are nominated and who 
are going to win. Of course, this is about hotels, this is about tourism companies, this is about the services, the good services. So if you're out there and you own a hotel, you own anything that is to do with travel and you think your services are not good, you better improve because you might win this award next time. But let's first see who is going to be nominated, who has been nominated rather, and who is going to win. We shall give you all the exclusives, of course, to know how they're organized, how they're achieved, and what we should actually expect in terms of making our tourism more even travel better. Just stick around. This is your number one show, K250, and I'm your girl, Axel. We are here, we are speaking travel, definitely, and I'm chilling with one of the She's very smart. I was attracted to her because of her art, and of course, she's going to tell us where she's from. Hi, how are you doing? I'm good, how are you? Fine, thank you. You look fine. Thank you very much. So do you? Thank you. Where are you from? I'm from South Africa. Is this your first time in Rwanda? It is. It is indeed. What did you expect before you came, knowing you're coming to Rwanda? What were you expecting? Beautiful people, amazing travel industry folks. The excitement you're seeing, it's because of travel. Who doesn't get excited when it's travel? I am with a very beautiful lady from South Africa. She's going to tell us her names first. Hello. Hello, my name is Kathy Kay from Travel of Less South Africa. Oh, you look very smart and very beautiful. Thank you so much. It's your first time in Rwanda. It is my first time. How did you find it? Uh, it actually, it was actually good. The flight was very good. Um, I've had lunch. Was there by the restaurant opposite the Radisson Blue Hotel? Did you meet that? Your expectation? Yes, I have. Actually, I have. I've met a couple of contacts from many years back. So yes, I'm looking forward to a great evening. Okay, and then is it your first time to attend the annual travel award? It is for me, but my colleagues have attended a number of them. Okay, so what are expectations? Fun, 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 travel is fun. speak about tourism or travel and you do not bring in this gentleman Amos Wekesa who is chilling with us and he's going to tell us of course what his expectations are tonight. Thanks for being here with us. Thank you for inviting me. I'm very uh, grateful to be in Rwanda. I enjoy Chigali. You, uh, what do you enjoy it. most? The cleanness. Mm -hmm. I enjoy of course staying at the Serena. I always, you know, I've been given almost life membership for free so I stay there for free. Oh, how lucky can you be? Absolutely, I'm very very yeah. lucky. And, and the hotel of course you sleep in is nominated so are you looking forward to enjoying the award because you sleep in it? Absolutely, if you, I'll be clapping the hardest for Serena <laughs> because they do they give me a lot of great deals uh, for, you. for my business. We, as Great Lake Safaris we support them quite a lot in the number of, uh, number of, number of hotels across the region okay. which is a fantastic thing. The truth is that there are lots of opportunities for us as a people. As East Africans, as Ugandans, as Rwandese, it's important that we take this seriously because tourism is the fastest growing industry. It is creating every yeah. 10 tours create one permanent job. So if you're out there and looking for opportunities, tourism is the place is the place to be. So the winner is we are celebrating travel, but of course we are even celebrating, you know, good services. When you do good, of course you get awarded. And this is why we are here to celebrate. This is Rwanda's leading business hotel, Kigali Marriott Hotel. Actually, they won two awards. I'm here to speak to them. I know how they feel. Hi, thanks for speaking to us. Thank you very much for having us here. And we're extremely pleased to get these two awards here at this award gala tonight. The one that's leading business and the one that's leading city. It's not just about the region, but the whole of Africa. We are celebrating travel and people have been winning awards and awards. And I'm standing here with this gentleman who have so many awards. Let me first see. South Africa's leading design hotel, Manabe. Africa's leading design hotel. Wow, you guys have so many awards. We had a good idea. We were hoping we were going to win, yes. What was what was making you or your hopes so high? Is it the good services? Is it because you're used to winning? What is it? <laughs> we have a wonderful winning team that's been growing year on year. So we are all about guest excellence and showcasing the beauty of the African continent. What makes a, a, a winning team? Winning team. <laughs> We 
are having so many winners and of course I am glad to be speaking to one of the ones from the region. Of course, I'm happy. I've been speaking to people from outside and then from Rwanda, but I'm speaking to someone from the region, and this is Zanzibar TZ. And we're part of the leading hotels of the world. Okay. So it just makes sense, you know, Let's that. Just to win. Yeah, it just makes sense that you win the leading hotel, okay. I mean, the, the leading resort in Tanzania. Uh -huh. Yeah. What is so unique about this hotel? Uh, the hotel, apart from being a member of leading uh, hotels of the world, uh, has got 100 uh, suites and villas, wow. all sea facing. The service is amazing. Wow. It's built, uh, uh, the, the, the design is what I can call Omani architecture. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of gardens. Uh, what else can I see on the resort? It's, it's, it's on the best it's beach in Zanzibar. Oh. We have to celebrate our very own. We've scooped so many awards and of course we have to give credit where it's due and none other than of course the people who do it best. Rwanda is indeed True. the African leading destination like the award that I'm holding now. Yeah. Uh, we've been voted, uh, Rwanda has been voted African leading destination. destination. Well to be the host uh, it takes a lot of a lot of things, mm -hmm. um, a lot of ticks. Yeah. So what message would you give to Rwandans so that we keep seeing more of these things happen here? Yeah. Of course, uh, it's not RDB doing it by itself, you know, uh, we have a great, great involvement of the private sector. Okay. Um, everything here that we're doing uh, in terms of organizing events, etc., as much as the government of Rwanda has a strategy, but in terms exciting events um, and then yeah you know for the rest it's, yeah. it's a journey we started it uh, and then we're, we're, we're committed to continuing it that's why we need to congratulate you this goes to you and thank you so much for speaking to us that was of course uh, one of the best best moments knowing that we are hosting this but again we are scooping so many hours as Rwanda and as our very own RDB thank you so much for speaking to us and Kongs once again this is your number one TV show K250 and I'm your girl Axel <laughs> Iran is one of the cleanest countries in the whole world and we know why. We managed to actually keep some of the things out of our country like polythene bags but see there's a lot to do to protect our environment. As we attended an event that was themed green drinks, we were there to get so many things to learn, so many things to keep our environment clean. They told us actually there's a lot still to be done right here in Rwanda so that we get even more cleaner and more healthier. Some people do not even know their expired phones or even their old phones or computers are damaged to our health or to our environment. So we learned a lot, but that was not all. We actually got to eat something. We got to eat something from, you know, the neighboring countries, but of course even our very own from here, something called Rolex. But you wonder who made it. Just keep around. All goods comes, 80%, uh, 80% comes covered by plastics. Those plastics, we, we, we collect it, then, we reuse, we, we, we reuse in other product. Uh, other ideas, we can produce, uh, uh, for example, the pallets in practice, we can produce, uh, produce the, 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 
the heavy, the heavy uh, things like basket in plastics. So we import in Dagestan our factory. Then the fact the, the price is not easy, still necessary. Also in Rwanda, every year uh, our government help the people uh, to give the most people uh, for against malaria. All most people uh, is uh, covered by plastics. Those plastics they come to my factory. We are still here protecting our environment. And of course, I am with Olivia from the e-waste recycling company that is going to tell us more about you know the environment in Rwanda. We've gone, we've really managed to achieve something, but still there's a lot to be done as we are learning from here at the Green Drinks event. Uh, he's with us, Olivia. Thanks for being with us. Uh, thank you too. Thank you too for inviting me on, on this. Uh, it's, it's a great event. Um, and today, tonight, uh, we are delighted because we have been discussing uh, about the issue that is uh, uh, really important for for, for Rwanda. Mm -hmm. So, regarding uh, the the electronic and electrical waste uh, management project, uh, it's a project funded by Ponedwa, uh, implemented by the Ministry of Trade and Industry. And the aim of the project is to provide a solution to end of life. Uh, electric and electronic equipment. You know, um, with the growing um, penetration of ICT in Rwanda and also with the new technologies that are coming uh, every day, you find uh, individuals or organizations having uh, different equipment. You may have um, three or four telephones that you don't know where to, what to do with it. So uh, actually the project is providing a solution so um, the solution we are providing, we are uh, treating uh, properly uh, this, this equipment because uh, we have two um, concern with this uh, equipment. Mm -hmm. When they are not properly treated and they are thrown to the landfill, they can contaminate uh, our environment. They have hazardous components in it, but also they can contaminate the human, the human health. What's the right thing to do? If, if my computer is old or my phone is old, where do I put it? Take it to, to us. We, we are collecting. We have, oh. we have a modern uh, treatment facility. Okay. It's located uh, uh, in Budyasela. So we are actually uh, uh, conducting awareness. And this one of these events is also to, to do awareness to, to the people, to know that the facility is existing, mm -hmm. to know that uh, we are putting in place proper mechanisms. Mm -hmm. uh, to, to handle this and it's not only um, uh, that it can contaminate people and, and, and water but also it has resources inside inside it so throwing it you are throwing also resources so it can be reused for something else it can be reused uh, okay. we have we do refurbishment mm -hmm. uh, some some equipment we refurbish them and then give it to primary schools for example computers from government institutions and so on but also um, it's resource efficient for our local industries okay. because plastic can be still used in plastic industries, metal can be still used in metal, in metal industries. There is also potential for, for export, you know, um, Rwanda is promoting uh, made in Rwanda but also we are trying to grow our export. So inside these computers in the motherboard you have uh, some precious metals in it and what we do we separate we properly treat and then uh, export for for proper recovery okay thank you so much olivia for being with us and and we hope you've all had if you have an old phone if you have an old computer but you still want to keep it at home i do not know for what just know it's not only dangerous to the people around you but even yourself but there's e waste recycling that you can take it there you will just take it down they'll use it for something else that you might need in future so nothing should be wasted and nothing should be taken for granted those old phones can do something else thank you so much for being with us this system is good because uh, some of the asking why we don't uh, produce the biodegradable plastics. But the biodegradable plastics is not good for us because uh, when the plastics are here at the, in, in this place, it becomes biodegradable after, uh, for example, two months. 
We never leave out food. You might call me a foodie one of these days, but still uh, we are celebrating environment and seeing how we can protect our environment. But there's no better way to celebrate environment and then, you know, eat something. But uniqueness about this is it's the dishes or the recipes from somewhere else, not just here, Rwanda. And then, of course, you should know the person who initiated this, uh, Andrew. Andrew, thanks for being with us. Hi, Axel. Uh, originally from the U.S., but I've been in East Africa for about six years. Okay, so uh, how did you know about Rolex? I was so amazed when I entered here and I saw Rolex. Well, so I lived in Uganda for about uh, five years, and so Rolex is all over the place. And so uh, a few years ago, some friends and I just thought, well, why don't we try different types of Rolex, you know, cheese or meat or different things. and we tried it and it was really good and we just didn't do anything with it. And then I moved to Rwanda and thought, well, now seems like a good time. And so we've just been doing kind of little pop-ups at friends' parties, things like that so far. Um, but it seems like there's a lot of demand, people like it. Um, and so within a couple of weeks we should have a permanent uh, location, uh, pinning approval from the uh, Umudu Guru. Yeah. That would be great. And then the people who make the Rolex, did you, did, you, did anyone have to train them? Did you meet them and, and you're like, do you know how to make Rolex? And they're like, yes, we do. How did it happen? <laughs> well, so uh, yeah. Peter here, yeah. who's the, the head chef, yes. so he'd already been making uh, Rolex here, but a slightly different style. Okay. So what we did is that we um, brought somebody from Uganda, and so they worked together. Um, and ended up with something that is, you know, mostly Ugandan, but has some Rwandan influence on it. So we put a little bit of vegetables in the chapati and things like that. I had no idea there was anything like a French Rolex. Did you come up with that? Did you really like, is it your idea or the French Rolex has been there and we're not aware? Well, it's, it's sort of like pizza, you know, you wouldn't only have one type of pizza. You wouldn't only have a cheese pizza, um, but we'd only really seen one type of Rolex, kind of like tomatoes and stuff. So we thought, well, why don't we do a, a French one and put some brie cheese or a Mexican one with some meat and some, you know, guacamole and, and these sorts of things. So. All right. I yeah. hope, I hope as you've promised, I hope at 3 a.m., 4 a.m. we'll be able to get Rolex because, yeah, we need, we need that Rolex. I hope so too. The, uh, you know, Rwanda's been very supportive so far. It was really easy to to start the business you know what they say i think is is pretty true yeah. so we're hoping that the you know the local government can facilitate uh you know the last stretch to get it to get it set up we wish you all the best andrew yeah. and thanks for this amazing idea in rwanda we appreciate yeah. we are foodies and we really like this We are right here at Impact Hub. Of course, we are celebrating uh, environment, but still there is a lot, a lot to learn. We have learned a lot, and I'm very sure you guys are going to learn a lot from this show. This is the event that was themed as uh, Green Drinks, but of course, you're going to find out more about it just from Kelly, one of the organizers. Thanks for joining us. Thank well, you. Uh, so can you tell us briefly more about Green Drinks? So Green Drinks is an event that's held in cities all over the world, not just here in Rwanda. Okay. Uh, so it's a monthly event where we invite speakers from the environment and sustainability sector to present on a topic that they're working in, they're interested in, okay. and then we invite an audience of anyone who's interested. You could be a student, you could be someone working in the environment sector, okay. you could be an academic, you could be working for the government. So it's really just an opportunity for people to get together and learn and discuss different environmental issues and solutions in Rwanda. Okay, so we have we have different environmental issues, of course, but now uh, tonight, what are we focusing on exactly? Tonight's focus was waste. So this week there's the Africa Engineering Week conference held at the Kigali Convention Centre. And so we wanted to tie in with their theme of waste management in Africa. So we invited the representatives from the e-waste recycling facility in Bujasera to talk about their project, as well as the uh, Ecoplastic, so they're recycling plastic waste here in Rwanda. Are, are we seeing a tremendous reduction, uh, especially in Rwanda where we do not have plastic bags anymore, we do not have such, are we seeing a, a tremendous reduction of, of the issues that would be created by plastic and you know plastic bags. 
We are, but then we also have to remember there's a lot of other plastic that's around. So we have our plastic water bottles, we have plastic that yeah. comes in packaging. Yeah. Uh, so we need to think about how we can manage those things, whether it's a straw or whether it's a packet of chips. So it's about looking for solutions for the things we haven't necessarily resolved yet. There's always more work to be done. Wow, I really love this because, I mean, this is something that we should all support because it, it's about us. And of course, as you heard from Kelly, it's a monthly event that is talks about different issues, not just plastic or waste, anything, anything that affects our environment. So please, of course, next time we shall still be here. And thanks, Kelly, for being with us. No problem. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much. This is your still number one show, K250. And I'm your girl, Axel. as others actually take even the little that you had. I had hopes thinking I'm still young, thinking there's a lot that I have to do, but I've seen someone, only one person has made me realize, actually, actually even in your early years, early age, you cannot do certain things. This is a 90 year old woman, actually in her 90s, and she can dance, she can do all that, she can split, she can do all that. But I said I can't even just lift myself up. You guys just enjoy a split, do all that, that I know some of you cannot, most of you cannot do, and neither can I. But again, we have to enjoy, but still, you will have to tell me if you like it or if you're just dropping it. We are speaking music, but different music, legendary music. Uh, this is an event that has brought so many artists to our country, mostly East African artists. But this time we went beyond East Africa. They went to West Africa now. We had Seishe, this is Kigali, Jazz Junction. This is an event where we just go to celebrate music and you're like, here, yeah, this is the kind of music that I really want to enjoy, like on a chilled Friday and then enter my weekend so well. So Seishe comes from Nigeria and she's like a legend. She's a legend, she has legendary performance. Is, this is someone who was managed by Beyonce's dad, Matthew Knowles, and she was one of the backup singers for Beyonce. So you know what I'm talking about. She had such an energetic performance without forgetting our very own Charlie and Nina, and of course Neptune's band, one of the best bands right here in Rwanda. Just sit back and enjoy what you missed if you didn't go there.
Hello guys, I'm Herbert Rock, your number one saxophonist. You are watching K250. <laughs>
of the beautiful ladies of course and who is going to tell us how she saw the performance but I'm sure she looks excited as excited as I am so I hope she had fun hi Delilah hi I'm fine thank you you're looking good first of all thank you thank you the one who came to perform actually I don't know what I was expecting but I was very excited about this show at the beginning because I love Shay Shay I love uh, Charlie and Nina and Neptune yeah. bands are my day ones oh, I even go myself in the oh, city okay. yes I did oh, so that's so good that shows you really had fun yes I did alright thanks for speaking to us pleasure we, we like K250 Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed as much as we did. Of course, till next time, of course, every Wednesday at 7 p.m. only on Ara TV. And you can still like us, you know, on social media pages, whether Instagram, you can follow us, Facebook, everywhere so that you get the updates, you get what we are up to. You can see all the social media pages right there on your screen. And if you want us to cover an event for you, feel free to just call the number that you're seeing on your screen and we will be there, right there to cover the event for you. And it will feature right here on your number on TV show, Kate. 250 and I'm your girl Axel. Bye for now. You want to know what is trending, where the biggest parties are, or who rocked it best, and how it unfolded? Sit back and catch your number one TV show where we bring you the glitz and glamour of Kigali's social life and nightlife where we cover food. Fashion, events, theme parties, and all your celebrities all in one go. All here on K250 every Wednesday, 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. on RTV. We the girl Axel. Don't miss out. Yahoo!